Hey guys, how's it going? Well, this is about my fifth take of this damn thing. And I'm just trying to get this radio to where you can see it and you can see the programming that I'm going to be doing. Uh, what you need is you need a good cable. You need a good battery. Uh, do not use your, uh, do not program a radio with a bad bat with a weak battery. Because if your battery goes dead when it's in programming mode, uh, you can really screw the radio up, and it can cause a lot of time uh, time to go back and you know reload things. Anyway, uh, it's got I've got a good cable. It's a Motorola cable. It's got a test lead on it. Uh, this has pins on it. I don't concern myself with that because I really don't need it. Uh, at least yet. It uh, this goes into a 24 pin uh, connector that goes into a rib box. This rib box is powered. You've got data and you've got power. Mine is running off a 9 volt battery which really isn't good but at the same time it's got an AC adapter that you can plug in, which I'm going to get. Anyway, you've got a 9-pin that comes out. So what this does is essentially takes it to a 9-pin. Now, you've got a, also got a 9-pin on the computer side. Well, I've got an XP computer that's a Dell, and uh, it doesn't have a serial port on it because it's a newer computer. What you do is you just buy one of these for about, I don't know, uh, 15, 16 bucks, uh, ship probably, uh, you know, some, something around there. Uh, anyway, let's get to it. I'm going to pr just plug this into my USB port, and I'm going to go up here. Now, I need to get this radio out of the way. Okay, there's a tutorial that you can go through, and I suggest you do. Astro CPS. Okay, it will tell you a few things. Accessing and using the tree view. Video tutorials. Accessing and using the tree view window. The tree view window opens automatically when a code plug is read or opened in a CPS programming session. With no other CPS windows open, if the tree view is closed, the current programming session and code plug are automatically closed. Now, reopen the code plug. Again, the tree view window is automatically reopened along with the code plug. Okay, so we kind of got that. The tree view can be navigated using the following mouse tips. The gray arrow icon represents another level or branch in the tree view. To open the next level of the tree's branch, single click on the plus sign to... Well, okay. Yeah, you can do that. Uh, let's just get to the start using CPS. Okay, it'll start, it'll show up some tips. And these tips you need to go through because they're important. A uh, lot of good helpful hints there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to File. Now I'm going to go to Read Device. It'll say choose a port, COM port. I could use COM port 3 or 4, but 3 I've got my iPod plugged into. Anyway. It will automatically put this into one CSQ. You'll see an hourglass while it's reading, and it'll say reading device right here. In the lower left, or yeah, lower left. I'm really fighting time on this. Okay, so the program opens up, and you've got your tree views. Well, I'm going to go down to expand all because I want to show you everything that it has. You've got zone channel assignments. 
Okay. Doing this with one hand. There you can name your channels. It's just so simple to do. You can add and you can take away. You've got uh, a very simple. Okay, you've got a very simple. Two, three. Okay, those are zones. You've got three zones. All right. Close out of that. So you've got your zones. Let's go up to here. You've got your trunking list. Uh, you've got trunking personalities, Astro Talk Group list, MDC systems, MDC call lists, uh, tables. All of these are really good. Message. The conventional personalities is what you're going to use most. Phone numbers, display menu, and right up here is where you need to be. Okay, radio information. Shows the model number, shows the serial number. You can print all this out. Okay, close out of that. Go up to radio configuration. Radio wide, that's very important. You'll be tweaking a lot in there. Uh, you've got emergency, alert tones, power up self, uh, self test, LED, LED, TX, chirp, timeout timers, home mode. I've got mine set to zone one, channel one. So when I push the home button, it will take me back to zone one, channel one got audio gain options and you've also got secure net digital audio options advanced options auto rotary light all you have to do is just check these things when you need them you can go to the advanced 2 tab short key press duration surveillance mode I don't think anybody would want uh, you know, unless you're, well, <laughs> I, I really don't even think, I, I don't see much point in that. I mean, maybe if you're, uh, you know, uh, a SWAT guy or something, maybe that would work. Okay, shit. Uh, up here, you've got conventional and trunking systems. You can set your top button. The top button is the orange emergency light. Okay. Say I wanted to set that to scan. Well, it's going to say I've actually got it programmed for another thing. Okay, so you heard, you heard that tone. Well, you say, well, what screwed up? Why'd that happen? You go up to view. You look, go, go down to invalid fields. And it says, well, uh, the trucking two position concentric switch, the top button, and the two position concentric switch tells you exactly what you what you did, and it tells you pretty much uh, you need to fix that. You can you can set all these. I'm going to set mine to light, but you can set them to monitor, talk around, talk around, direct phone scan, and program select call call alert. Select volume tone, all these. Keypad lock, you've got a lot of options. Same thing with the side buttons. I've got mine set to light, monitor, and talk around. Let's close out of that. Okay, handheld control head. This goes for the microphones. Uh, maybe you could see this. You know, this will program that. Uh, program the microphones. I've got mine unprogrammed right now because I just haven't gotten around to it. Uh, actually it does go to default and I can uh, I can access some things. Two position concentric switch, got a rotary, you can select it to zone select or channel select. 
most people go with channel select. And then you've got the conventional, uh, I've got mine set to scan position A, position B, okay, that's on the concentric switch. And the three position toggle switch, you can change these around. You've got all these options. Okay, let me get out of that. Uh, display and menu. This is very important. It's very good. Uh, you got menu items. In these menu items, you've got mute, channel, zone, phone, call, page, program, power, uh, TX inhibit. You know, you've got all these. You can move those in and they will show up on your screen. Okay, you've, and the same thing with trunking. Radio lock, I've got mine off. And push to talk display on ID, display on receive, auto light. You can do all of these things. Display system, push to talk ID. All of these things are very important. You need to have them set up right. The CPS will help you set these up. Uh, okay, let's go down to where we're going to be working. Uh, this is where you set your channels. Uh, conventional personalities. It's where most people set their channels. You can, you can enter these in. You can select your DPL, CSQ, uh, or PL. And mine are set to PL. Uh, down here, you've got, you can add you can take away, you can do a lot of different things with these. You know, all of these things add multiple conventional personalities, insert conventional personalities, add conventional personalities. Then in this left hand corner you've got the channels to where you can go through. As you go through you will see the channels. I'm running short on time. I don't have much time. Okay, my receive only, I don't have mine set to that. RX options. Okay, busy LED, non astro. You can switch those around. I've got my keypad hot, reverse burst. All of these settings you need to work into. These are the ones you're going to work with. You've got your signaling. I'm going to move it into MDC real soon. Uh, selective call decodes, secure, secure net, phone. You know, you can, you can, uh, you know, you can do a lot of things with that. Smart push to talk type, scan, scan list. I haven't gotten around to making one. Surveillance mode, like I said, nobody uses it. Astro. Uh, Astro call and talk group ID. So you just enter your frequencies pretty much. Anyway, once you're done, you save it. You save your code plug. I'm going to go down to right device just because I'm running low on time. You can actually print these things out too, and it will give you print choices. The whole damn thing. You can import, you can export. Right device, COM port 4, click. Okay. The rib box will show that it's transferring data. It'll do that in a minute. On the lower right hand side, it's verifying. So once it gets done with the verification process, an hourglass is going to come up. There's the hourglass. Now, You've got your data transfer. In a minute, it's going to say that the write was successful. As it does, this comes on. Your system restarts, and there you are. You're done. Okay, that's all the time I got. Uh, I'm running real short on time and patience. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Look at all the stuff you can do. Boat loads. Anything you want to do with these radios, you can do. Same thing applies in uh, most for a lot of these CPS programs. 
Anyway, I'm getting out of here. I'm getting done with it. And you guys take it easy.